Good morning, or is it afternoon? It's nearly 12 o'clock, it's the 22nd of June and it's another sunny day in Belfast. Unbelievable, we have had a run of these sunny days and it's marvellous. I'm uh, just below uh, Hula, Nula with the Hula. Sculpture up here. And I'm just above the Queen's Bridge and there's a guillemot in the water. This is known as the Bangor and Belfast penguin. Shows you something about the water quality. And I'm back down on the River Lagan just as it heads out towards uh, Victoria Channel and the docks. And I'm standing beside the uh, Belfast Barge. And it tells me that the Belfast Barge, well, can't get down that way. It says, Belfast Barge, come aboard the Belfast Barge, Northern Ireland's only floating art centre. And there's a museum going on in here as well, and there used to be a restaurant as far as I know, but I'm not too sure whether that is, is, is operating anymore, and the wee doggy's not too happy about me being here. Uh, and the barge is available for private uh, wedding and corporate hire. So, uh, this is Lagan Legacy. It says, if rivers could speak. Uh, so, so, we're, we're uh, uh, what do I say? If rivers could speak, the River Lagan would shout. Its waters have nurtured unimaginable industry, innovation and culture. The Lagan was shallow, meandering, ridden with mud banks and virtually unnavigable. And it has been transformed. It really has been transformed. Uh, you know, there's there's seals and all the rest of it on the lagging. Um, I'm told that there's otters and uh, the barge, uh, the hold, explore the industries and activities supported by the river lagging in this interactive and engaging exhibition. Open ten o'clock through to four. There's a gallery and there's a stage, and I think they do many concerts here and whatnot, intimate type concerts. So this is the the barge. And I'm just down below the waterfront hall here. A lot of new builds going on and have gone on. The, the whole lagging has been uh, transformed. And this uh, barge actually, it's quite a, a, a sizable barge, um, was the confidence in another life. Not too sure about the history. I think I, I, I videoed this before, so I must look up the history uh, once again. The Confiance sounds like a French name. Uh, it is a sizable barge. Um, it's it's not a Mickey Mouse. Well, it's not a small barge by any means. I'll go down to the bottom end and, and uh, get a wee Jeff Duke as well. Not too sure what that is. L. Slabbercorn. <laughs> Don't know. And there's the wee gully mats. My goodness. It's a hidden world down here. I uh, just can't read that from here, but it's the confidence and. Don't know. Don't know what that says. But. Let's, uh, let's see what's happening here.
So I've come into the entrance of the uh, Confiance, the uh, Belfast Barge, and it arrived here, uh, I think it was 2008 or nine. And it was uh, two Belfast businessmen who uh, set, the, set up this whole charity. It's the Belfast, uh, it's the Belfast Legacy Charity, you say? Lagan Legacy. Lagan Legacy, Legacy Charity, right, yeah. right. And the the barge arrived here here in what two thousand and eight or two thousand and six. And the barge is actually uh, dates from two or from 1960, and it has it was brought in by two gentlemen. What what was their names again? Uh, it, was, uh, it was brought in by Derek Booker, Derek Booker and Joyce Anderson, his partner. They 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 formed the charity. They formed the charity, and here's an old uh, picture of the confines. And I believe there's a museum downstairs. So let's go and check it out. got lottery funding going on. There's toilets here. I love to have toilets about the place. So we'll go into the, uh, the George McAllister Hold. Oh look. Reclaimed double teak doors from the RMS Kenya Castle. Hard and Wolf number 1432. And you can read that yourself. I just can't make it down or read it too well. Um, the, the Kenya Castle was launched in 1951. And here's the doors. And these two gentlemen who set up the uh, Lagan Legacy um, charity uh, saw Belfast uh, shipyard, Harold and Wolf, uh, you know, gradually uh, dying and, and being closed. And they had the foresight, they had the vision to uh, try and salvage uh, some of the stuff that was being thrown out. Isn't, isn't not that ridiculous? You know, the amount of stuff uh, of a historical nature that was thrown out, but these two gentlemen that uh, up until now ran the, the Lagan boat tours, uh, one of their boats is the Mona, uh, I can't remember the name of the other one, they had the, the foresight to go ahead and salvage some of this uh, this stuff and bring it here. That's all about Titanic. And there's the SS Canberra being mentioned. So, you know, you need to come to this place yourself. Uh, you know, uh, I can't hope to uh, give more than just a, a quick walk around. Um. <laughs> oh, oh, Belfast ships in the 1663. Look at that. When a vessel was ready to be handed over, an external, uh, external, all the external openings were sealed with newspaper and tape and the vessel was filled with gas to poison the rats. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. So this uh, catalogues uh, most of the ships that were built by Harland and Wolf over the years. This is super. There's all sorts of material here. There's the SS Canberra. Hmm. 
And there's the tropical carnival dinner that you could have enjoyed. You know, come and see this for yourself. It's sitting here. It's open Tuesday right through the 10 o'clock to 4. And there's all about Samson and Goliath. And there's it in relation to uh, Tower Bridge. And there's all the information. <coughs> and there's a wee interactive thing here, which I'm not going to touch because I might break it. And this tells you about reality of yard life. So this is this is the only real, uh, you know, Belfast museum dealing with Carl and Wolf. Yes, the Titanic. Uh, museum is very good, but it hasn't got this stuff. This porcelain, this porthole home was a castle. There's another. Uh, uh, this porthole came from the, again came from the the Kenya castle. Scrapped in India, 2001, sadly. Built in Belfast. What happened to Belfast's... Oh, look at this. Shipbuilding industry and, and bridge building industry and, and all sorts of industries. They went to Southeast Asia, they went to China, everything's gone to China. The Sequest, I remember the Sequest. Churchill Tank was built in Belfast. The prototype and many production models of the famous Churchill Tank were built in Belfast. Halfpenny Bridge, SS Canberra, wind turbines, yes, I have videoed them. Trains, didn't know about trains. Hard and roof trains and engines were exported to many parts of the world. What happened to that? Hard and roof constructed the single seater reconnaissance Avro aeroplane produced in 1915 to attack enemy zeppelins. Guitar? 1960 shipyard men jumped on the Beatles bandwagon and built guitars during their lunch breaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. Harlan Wolf built a submarine supply vessel and every other type of ship but never built a submarine. Motorbike fairings. Ah, oh, let's see this. Harlan Wolf made motorbike fairings which reduced air drag, saved fuel and protected riders from the weather, airborne hazards and industry. And there's a, a, a Falklands floating harbour. Um, for the Falklands War in 1982, vital to the success of the task force. Of course, all gone. This place is it's just full of history, full of history. Get down here if you're interested in Belfast maritime history. This is a docker's hook, apparently used to lift bags of potatoes and other commodities. This is the work gear that the guys wore. A laboratory set. What's in here? You know, uh, you won't see this kind of um, detailed stuff in uh, the Titanic Museum won't see it because it's not there. Sound of a hammer.
for the sounds of the shipyard. What happened to Belfast shipyard? I have videoed cruise ships coming in to Belfast over the years. I've videoed literally hundreds of cruise ships and well maybe not hundreds but several hundred and um, not one of them, not one of them is built in Belfast or was built in Belfast and yet all the EU countries can build them and I have videoed cargo vessels coming into Belfast and not one of them built in Belfast yet they can all be built in the Far East China and all the rest of it ok I'm out of the museum and this is a, a, I presume a concert area small gig area and uh, there's a stage up here this, uh, this barge is, is massive is massive this is uh, as I say this um, the barge can be uh, used it's as a wedding venue so you can I mean this is this would be a, a fabulous place to, to uh, have a wedding <laughs> it's be certainly different so come along and, and find out and check it out and see see what they can do for you Fast barge, the confidence sitting on the leg in here. So I'm back up the stairs at the entrance, and uh, through this door, through the porthole, uh, this was formerly Hulahan's restaurant, but it will now be used as a multifunctional area. Uh, by the Lagan legacy people and you know um, that could that could mean uh, part of the wedding venue uh, activities etc etc as well so there's plenty of room here but there's so much history uh, sitting down here um, on your doorstep folks don't go past here uh, come on annoy Susan uh, who, who is manager of, of the uh, of the the, the, the bar Belfast barge and see our wee dog and uh, make sure he, he, he doesn't bite your ankles I'll bring your dogs too. we're dog friendly oh yes bring your dogs <laughs> right jolly good so if you want to know all about Belfast maritime history, particularly uh, Harland and Wolf, and you want real history, uh, you want to see artifacts, you want to see uh, videos, old videos, you want to see old photographs. Not in the Belfast Titanic exhibition. Come here to the Belfast Barge. And it's also, as I say, a wedding venue. You can get married in here and enjoy <laughs> you know, being married on the lagoon and having your reception in here. And there's piles of room. It's, 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 uh, it's brilliant. Just opposite Lagan House and just down a wee bit from the waterfront hall and Susan who manages the, the whole thing 
will be pleased to see you.